What's going on guys, Siobhan here back with another video and as promised I will be dropping a video on all the new changes and features found in iOS 11 beta 6. Now this is over 70 new changes and features and also a little bit of bugs available in iOS 11 beta 6 so sit back and enjoy. Firstly we're just going to talk about the icons that Apple has changed. They changed the reminder icon, it has been corrected, the dots are now on the left hand side which is properly orientated. Also, the new App Store icon has been changed. It now looks like a popsicle stacked up against each other. The Maps icon has been changed as well. It now resembles the new, um, the new Apple headquarters that Apple is building on the satellite view. Also, the new clock icon has been revamped. It is now bolder and has a sharper image. The screenshot editing UI is also fixed. And when you try to hit the done button, it's no longer stuck up in the top left hand corner. It can be tapped and it's easier to reach now. Also, the three live wallpapers are been removed. So the fish live wallpapers that we could find in an iOS 11 meter 5 has now been removed. And it's pretty sad, but yeah, I do not know why, so you can't ask me. Also, there has been some new lock screen animations found in iOS 11. So you could check that out if you download it. It it just like the, the app icons bounce more, which looks alright to me. Also the signal on the music platter when you're playing, for example, you're playing music with a Bluetooth headphones, it now turns blue when connected to earphones, which is kind of cool. Also, 3D Touch has seen some speed improvements. So when you 3D touch on app icons that support 3D touch, it really moves faster and it's very, very snappy. And yeah, we all appreciate that speed performance in iOS 11 beta 6. Also, auto brightness has been removed. It hasn't been removed, but it has been moved to another section. So normally it would be under display and brightness, but it's not there anymore. You have to go to, where do you have to go again? Do you have to go to general accessibility, display accommodations, and here it is. It's really placed very far. I'm not sure why Apple did that, but yeah. There it is for you guys. Also, Photos has a new splash screen. So if you go into the Photos application for the first time, you'll see a splash screen. Seems like Apple really loves splash screens, but that's there for you. Also, in the 12 spot, when you turn on a W1 chip device, you'll see a new animation in the control center for like AirPods or the Beats. You'll see a new turning animation that looks really cool in my opinion. Also, the lock screen audio output source has been fixed. So yeah. You can also see your workout route in satellite mode. So I got this screenshot from a Reddit user, but as you can see, you can see your workout now in satellite mode, which is really cool. There's also a new CarPlay icon in the music platter in the control center. Obviously, I don't have CarPlay, so I can't show you that, but hopefully you'll see some images on the screen right now. Also, the App Store icon updated in the settings also there is no shadows to highlight when your phone is charging which is kind of cool if you couldn't find it already also the icon size on your home screen got a little bit smaller i'll show an image up right now that it really got smaller and also the itunes icons are now thicker so yeah they're just getting bolder and bolder every time we also can scroll in landscape mode when we're in the cc which is a nice touch. So when it comes on to bugs, Siri keeps repeating herself if you ask her questions. So if you ask, say, Siri, where could I find this? Where could I find that? It keeps repeating herself and it's really annoying. Hopefully Apple fix that in beta seven. Also, when you're setting a new wallpaper, it no longer resprings the device like usual. So if you go into photos and you set a new wallpaper, your phone will not be resprung. Also, there is a drop shadow in beta six around the iPhone icon. So, it's supposed to be right here screen mirroring where it is the iphone icon shows a drop shadow like if you look where the headphones is like you could see this it's just more aggressive when you look on the top left platter right here the mini platter which is the like an icon it has a drop shadow around it which is more aggressive also screen mirroring now shows looking for apple tv Normally it doesn't say anything, but now it says looking for Apple TV right there. Also, if we go into the weather application, guys, we could now see eight icons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Normally we could only see seven, but it's now more compact and we could see eight icons right there. Also, the iTunes Wi-Fi synced is removed. The iPhone cable graphic is gone 
and there's also new information added at that part also guys smart invert got a lot better so if you go into general accessibilities display accommodations invert colors smart invert it got really smarter it looks better it works on all applications even third-party applications as well and the overall performance of smart invert gets better and better every time so yeah thanks to apple for that if we go into the settings the password setting section has been removed from the itunes and app store section so if we go into the itunes and app store section you can see that the password settings below the touch id enabled for purchases has been removed according to the release notes over 120 bugs have been fixed in ios 11 beta 6 which is good they also have added siri search in a lot of stuff so for example the mail application you can see that we have siri and search we also have the notifications right there and i think it's also there for contacts siri and search and it's also there for photos as well siri and search there is still the bug where you can't connect to the apple store in settings so if you go into the settings right here and you try to access the um apple store which is right here if you hit visit store if the wi-fi was on it still would work trust me on that one you just have to trust me it's just not working you can't connect to the apple store in iMessages another great thing here is that the music widget lock screen animation is back and it is better it is very slick as we like and also the music control widget no longer persists when there's no audio playing so if there's no audio playing on your phone when you hit the lock screen you won't see the music widget chilling right there without purpose also the interval with the facetime calling is now faster so the audio has been changed in beta 5 but now the interval between the beeps are now faster in beta 6. Also guys, tapping the Wi-Fi toggle in the control center now disconnects from the current network and temporarily disable the Wi-Fi. Also guys, tapping on the AirPlay button in non full screen video now works correctly. Also when, we're, when you're in landscape mode on the control center, there is no more blur in the status bar. Also activating emergency SOS now triggers haptic feedback once you tap the power button five times it now triggers haptic feedback there is also no more 3d touch options oh there is oh wow there is so yeah it it's fixed everything apple pro said that there was no more 3d touch menu on the wallet app but that's not true if i 3d touch on my wallet app here you could see my last transaction and also you can see that I could go to my TD access card. But if you do not have anything there, it will not have a 3D touch action. But as soon as you add a card, you will get 3D touch actions. Normally in beta 5, if there's no card and you hit the 3D touch, you'll see a plus sign saying you could add. But here you can see that we already have my card. So it shows me my last transaction and also an option for me to go to my TD access card. Also, if we go into the settings right here and we go to the messages, we could see that the waiting for activation in iMessage has been made darker. If we go into the music settings, the show start rating button is now back. So if you have Apple Music and you have it enabled, you will see the show start ratings settings that you could toggle on or off. The control center no longer has a blur background when reduced motion is toggled on. So if we toggle on reduced motion, we will no longer see a blur background in iOS 11 beta 6. Swiping cards in the app switchers now works correctly. It doesn't have this blur that would get in beta 6. Everything's in beta 5, sorry. Everything works perfectly fine right here. As you can see, swiping cards in iOS 11 beta 6 works perfectly fine without any glitches and application cards being blurred out also trusting a computer now requires a passcode and not touch id so previously in beta 5 it required touch id but now when you're trusting a computer it now just requires a passcode also when your battery is below 20 percent you cannot toggle on your flashlight so keep that in mind i heard this was from beta 5 as well but i didn't find out until beta 6. apple also redesigned the dead battery splash screen so if your battery is dead and you try to turn it on the whole battery setup is being replaced and looks cleaner in my opinion also in the music platter there is an iphone section 
and it's just still checked even when only one device is connected you still have a check mark sitting right there also the time and the date moved leftward on the landscape cover sheet so if you're on landscape mode on your lock screen the time and the date moved leftward on the cover sheet also the search bar on the landscape lock widget page it is now squished together and everything is moved closer also the search results in landscape mode on the lock screen has also been more compacted and squished together also the search widget in the landscape mode is smaller and it's also more optimized and smarter when you search for new results the share sheet menu is fixed when sharing screenshot on the lock screen as well so if you're sharing a screenshot on the lock screen it is now been fixed and more optimized 3d touch on a hole is just more responsive on ios beta 11.6 also the new app store logo is updated when 3d touching on the app store icon where the redeem boxes you can see the um popsicle logo still there which is attention to detail by apple there's also a new warning sign in the control center when that airpod is missing there would be a red warning sign around the left or the right airpod icon if those two airpods are missing so yeah also for the wallet app if you enable the wallet app in your control center and you try to 3d touch on it it won't work again if you do not have a card link to your wallet application also when you 3d touch on icons that has text in the control center the text has a more aggressive drop shadow background than usual it is like more spread out which is kind of cool and it makes the text stand out even more also if you go into the phone application you can see that the dial button which is this green circle right here it has been reduced in saturation so the color green is not as vibrant as before shout out to everything apple pro for stating this fact if you go into restrictions the cellular data has officially been restricted so now you could put a password on your cellular data if you don't want anyone to turn it on and off the files app also shows a new waveform when playing audio files from the files app so if you go into your files app and you have audio files there you could scrub through waveforms i'm offline obviously so i can't play but you could see the waveforms at the bottom and you could scrub through to know the higher decibels from the lower decibels and last but not least guys airpods now display battery life in the airplay device menu so yes guys that wraps up the video if you found anything new let me know down below in the comment section if you learned anything new let me know what you didn't know and also if you want to download ios 11 beta 6 i would have a link to a video down below in the description showing you how to download ios 11 beta 6 for free without a developer account and always guys love Peace and tweaks. Signing out.